if he wants to marry you, he wants to have a baby with you. And these people want to put you in a television series. I, I, I just don't get it, honey. I don't get what the problem is. I don't know what you're waiting for. I'm 60 years old. So good. I waited my whole life for a sign. <laughs> And I've waited my whole life for you to be on this couch. Helen Shaver, what an honor. I loved this film. It is for anybody out there who needs to check on themselves for a second about what you have. When we complain about it's cold outside, mm. you need to see Downriver. Congratulations. Thanks. You do so much work, you know, in front of the camera, behind the camera. Why did you decide to peel yourself away from, you know, shooting uh, however many series you're shooting right now? I know, it's, it's crazy. Exhausting. <laughs> She's all over the place. And work on this independent, beautiful film. Well, it's been a decade since I've been in front of the camera. So I, I uh, and this piece came along, and Ben Ratner, who, who, who wrote it and directed it, um, he came with such passion about it. And, and, I, and I decided that it was time for me to, one, find out if I could give to a, a performance what I asked my actors to give to me which is to truly truly show up and be present between clap and cut and um, and two I love the fact that it was a film about the relationship of women because I mm -hmm. don't know about you but when I look at television or films it is seldom that I see women that I want to sit down and have lunch with yeah. or, or maybe you see individual women but women in relationship to each other it, which in a way that I recognize and and these women um, cuz they're cuz it's really a four-hander myself Gabrielle Miller uh, Colleen Renison and, and Jennifer Spence they're three struggling artists and you're the nurturer the matriarch that yeah. brings them all together yeah. and, and I mean and, and although there is some solemnity and some gravitas in 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 the core of the film because because the woman I play although she doesn't tell anyone else no uh, discovers that she that she has a date certain about when she's going to die. Yeah. Oh, and thank you. See, she is a girl's girl. She just plucked the hair right from my lips. Thank you, Helen. <laughs> and well, you grew I up guess, in a family. I'm making a lot of people jealous. I'm sure. <laughs> and you grew up in a family with sisters. I and there's not enough sisters. of that in Hollywood in, in general. The solidarity's well, we, not there usually. Right. Anyway. I mean, and and and, and also the, just this thing. I mean, we spend most of our lives avoiding the fact that we're mortal. We we, we you know drugs, yeah. sex, rock and roll, all of which hey, I have enjoyed. And continue to enjoy some of those things, right? Uh, and sex all. is really, you know. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> that's the secret, by the way, to looking like she does. Okay. Well, uh, maybe it's not just straight up sex. It could, it could be about making love, right? Because you know, when yeah. you make love, you actually make love, you build love, which is something that it took me a long time to discover. But we're friends. Yeah, I'm 26 yep. years into a marriage, and I find out that making love is making love. Congratulations. But anyway. You'll have to come back on that for all that. <laughs> but these are the things women don't talk to each other about, it's right? True. I mean, so, so, but the, the idea, one, of surrendering myself to a performance and giving, and finding out whether I could still do that was one thing. The, also, the idea of examining and looking and being willing to examine my own mortality through the voice yes. and of this woman was really yes a trip. And, and you're weeping and you're laughing along the journey and i think that's what art should do is make you think about not only feel you know empathy for the characters mm. but reflect on yourself and make you appreciate that's truly the best thing with art is when it sits with you yes. and this movie does that now you have worked I love with so that. Thanks. it really does uh, you've worked with a ton of people yes. uh, let's rhyme off martin scorsese robert redford tom cruise <laughs> james earl jones james earl jo uh, jones yeah who who are you still Who's on your list? Your I want work Martin with some more. Why? Scorsese, because he's the greatest director in the world. Really? I mean, I, I you know, in, in terms of little secret wishes that we have, you know, I, I, I miss, I miss being directed by great directors. And and you know, like if he happens to see this film and go. Oh, Helen, yeah, we should, yeah, we need a middle-aged blonde. Let's get her. You know? What do you mean? You're only 35. <laughs> Look at this woman. Uh, my mom turned 100 on August 21st, 31st, you God know that? Yeah, so. What's her secret, Helen? She's, <laughs> oh, you know, man, I don't know. I think I th routine, feeding herself well, not going to bed on anger. Not going to bet on anger. Please come back. I love talking to you. You are a joy and good for you in a male dominated business. You are doing your thing also. Never mind Thanks. Martin Scorsese, Ms. Shaver as the director. Check this movie out. It's called Downriver. Opens in this city this weekend. Downrivermovie.com. 
Follow her at Helen Shaver. Give your love. And you just came from the West Coast. Do you still live out in uh, Vancouver? I do. But you know one other thing I want to say about coming this weekend yeah. to the movie is that when American films with big distributors go into movie theaters, they have a contract that they're going to be there for three, four, five weeks, whatever it is. Right. When a little tiny Canadian film with a little tiny Canadian distributor goes into a movie theater, it gets one weekend. And if there aren't people buying tickets and sitting in the seats, it is gone. So if you love the arts, if you want to see specific individual yes. work, because yes. a little movie is hard to make. It is. And come on out. Take your mother, your brother, your lover, or just go by yourself. I promise you, you will leave enriched. And thank you for doing such beautiful work Thanks, always. Thanks, honey. That's a really nice success. way to start the day. Thank you. Oh, my all gosh, right. I love her. We'll be back with more BT right after this. Now I want to smell flowers and stuff. I feel all existentialist. <laughs> <laughs>